In this video, let me consider one numerical on Thevenin's theorem. Using Thevenin's theorem, find the equivalent circuit at terminal AB in the circuit shown below, then find I. This is the given circuit. Here we supposed to find the Thevenin's equivalent circuit at terminal A and B. Then we have to find current I, which is nothing but current flows through one ohm resistor using Thevenin's theorem. So as we know, in Thevenin's theorem, the current in which branch we are calculating, that branch first we have to remove. So first here we have to remove this one ohm resistor from the circuit. If we remove this one ohm, then terminal A and B will become open. Let me draw the equivalent circuit of this by removing this branch. That is one ohm register. So this is the equivalent circuit where I have removed one ohm register which was exist between A and B. So now we have to find the voltage between these two terminal. That voltage is known as VTH. So VTH is nothing but Thevenin's voltage. So here VTH is equal to voltage across 4 ohm register. So now let me calculate the current in the circuit. So here we have two loops. Let me assume current through this loop is say I1. Current through this loop is say I2. So here we can observe that there is a current source between two loops. So if there is a current source between two loops, we have to analyze current source first. So here I can write current 2 amp is equal to I2 minus I1 because I2 and 2 are in same direction. So first we have to write I2. I1 is opposite. So it is minus I1. Let me call it as equation 1. So after analyzing the current source, we have to assume that this current source is removed from the circuit. If you remove from the circuit, it looks like this. This is 6 ohm. This is 6 ohm. We have 4 ohm here. This is terminal A and this is terminal B and here we have plus minus 12. That is 6, 6. Here there was a current source that I have removed and we have shown this as I1, this as I2. So now we have to apply KVL to this entire loop. Now we here we can see there is only one loop. This entire loop is known as super loop. So we have to apply KVL to super loop. That is now apply KVL to super loop. So this is the super loop. So start from the voltage source that is 12 is equal to just move along with the direction of current voltage across 6 ohm register is. So in 6 ohm register current I1 is flowing. So it is 6 I1 then 6 ohm is in series. So in this 6 ohm current I2 is flowing that we have to consider. Therefore voltage across this is plus 6 I2 plus in 4 ohm register current I2 is flowing that is 4 I2 or I can write 12 is equal to we have 6 I1 plus we have 10 I2 or I can write 12 is equal to 10 I2 plus 6 I1. I will write both in same format that I2 is first and here I have taken I2 is first. Call it as equation 2. Now let me simplify these two equations. So simplifying equation 1 and 2. So this equation 1 and 2 can be directly simplified using calculator. Keep calculator in equation mode and here we have two variables that is two unknowns. Take it as two unknowns and directly feed the values. We will get I1 is equal to minus 0 0.5 amp and we have I2 is equal to 1.5 amp. So now here we can see that here VTH is equal to 4 into I2 that is 4 I2 which is equal to 4 into 1.5 therefore VTH is equal to 4 into 1.5 is 6 volt. So this is Thevenin's voltage across terminal A and B.
So let me now let me calculate RTH that is Thevenin's equivalent resistance. So to calculate Thevenin's equivalent resistance, we have to set equal all sources to zero. Here 12 volt voltage source is there. So it can be made zero by short circuiting and this can be made zero by open circuiting. Let me redraw the circuit. So here we have 6 ohm, that is 6 ohm, then we have another 6 ohm in series with this, we have 6 ohm, so now this will be open circuited, so I will not draw this, and here we have 4 ohm, this is 4 ohm, and there is a voltage source here, this will be short circuited. So this is terminal A, this is terminal B. So equivalent resistance between terminal A and B is known as RTH. Here we can observe that 6 and 6 are in series which is in parallel with 4 ohm resistor. Therefore I can write RTH is equal to this and this are in series that is 12 is in parallel with 4 ohm resistor. Therefore RTH is equal to product of these two that is 12 into 4 divided by sum of these two that is 12 plus 4 which is nothing but 48 divided by 16 which is equal to 3 ohm therefore RTH is equal to 3 ohm. So now we have to draw the equivalent circuit now let me draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit let me draw here therefore Thevenin's equivalent circuit can be drawn as we have VTH should be connected in series with RTH. This is terminal A and this is terminal B. So here VTH value is already calculated that is 6 volt which is equal to 6 volt and RTH value is 3 ohm. This is 3 ohm. So now as I said before so here we have to find current i so now we have to connect this one ohm register to the equivalent circuit so here this is the equ thevenin's equivalent circuit here we supposed to connect that one ohm register so current through this is i so therefore here we can see that i is equal to voltage divided by register that is 3 ohm is in series with one ohm that is I is equal to V by R, V is 6 and R is sum of these two that is 3 plus 1 is 4 which is equal to 1.5 for current through 1 ohm register is 1.5 amp. 